Hello and welcome to the video. Today I'm testing out a magnetic drill from Vivo. Now, full disclosure, Vivo had contacted me multiple times in the past asking if I'd review one of their tools. And to be honest, I was hesitant because I come across some negative comments about them and I wasn't sure if it would be a good fit. But after they assured me that I have complete freedom to share my honest opinions, no scripts and no conditions, I decided to give it my best shot. Just to be clear, there are a couple of links to the tool in the description below, but they're not affiliate links. I don't earn any commissions and I'm not getting paid for this review. And that's important to me because this channel is all about honest, unbiased reviews. The worst that can happen is I absolutely hate this and they never reach out for another review. And if that's the price for being truthful, so be it. So with that said, let's get into it. They sent me a magnetic drill that retails for around $300. And let me tell you, this thing is heavy. It weighs around 10 kilos and that's by far the heaviest drill I've ever picked up. In fact, this is my first time using a magnetic drill at all. But that's probably a good thing because at this price point, I'm guessing this is more aimed at DIYers than professionals. And that's actually backed up by the fact that they deliver it ready to use right out of the box. Aside from the drill itself, you also get the special core drill bits you need for this tool, along with a chuck and a few other accessories. This specific magnetic drill from Vivo is actually pretty straightforward to use. It has three buttons after all, one to turn the magnetic base on and off, and the other two to power the drill on or off. Now, this version doesn't have speed controls, so it runs at a constant 850 RPMs. Because of that, I'd say this drill is really just for, well, drilling. Tapping isn't an option with this setup, but when you look at this from another angle, for $300 you get 11 of these special core drill bits. And just buying these bits on their own can cost you close to $300 without the drill. But enough about the price and specs. Let's see how it performs. I'm starting with this 5mm piece of steel. And don't worry, there will be thicker plates later in the video. Oh, and one last thing before we dive in. Apparently, my one brain cell didn't think it needed an instruction manual. So throughout the video, you'll see me adding oil manually to the drill bit. If I'd actually read the manual, I would have seen the proper way to assemble this thing and could have used the integrated cooling system. It actually works really well, but by the time I realized that, I would already cut through enough metal and couldn't bring myself to repeat the tests. So here's the trick with this thing. Regular drill bits need to drill through the material using their entire diameter, which requires a lot of power and produces a lot of heat. Whereas the drill bits on this cut into the material instead. You can see the hollow part in the middle of the core drill bit, and that's what makes it perfect for bigger drilling jobs. They demand less power, and with the integrated cooling system, they also produce a lot less heat. So, since I don't exactly know what I'm doing, it's probably best to work my way up to the larger drill bit. I'm starting with the smallest, the 12mm core drill bit. And as I mentioned, manual lubrication, because I didn't read the manual. But hey, that just shows you how foolproof this thing actually is. And so this is my first time ever using a magnetic drill. It might look a bit slow, but I was just getting the hang of it. Honestly though, it's incredibly powerful and it feels really capable. I actually never thought that drilling through a 5mm steel plate could be this easy. Next in line is the 30mm core drill bit. It's not as simple as a keyless chuck, but it more than makes up for that with the sheer power it delivers. And just as you expected, the 30mm core drill bit is also not an issue for this. Fifteen mm core drill bit and it's still effortless. Next up, the 60mm core drill bit. And so on, moving up to the 18mm, 20mm and all the way up to the 26 and 27mm drill bit. I honestly couldn't feel a difference. It had all the power it needed and never once bogged down or overheated. The 5mm steel plate felt like child's play. 
and the drill handle it all despite my inability to read the instruction manual. However, I do recommend letting the magnet rest for a couple of minutes every now and then. It's not that I had any issues with it, but it's a good practice. Ask me where I read that. And now the time has come to attach the 27mm core drill bit. It's the largest one included with the drill. So, let's see if this one manages to slow it down. And yeah, I know I should be using proper coolant, not just oil. But hey, it's the broke life, so this channel runs on a shoestring budget. Still, it just goes to show you that even with my total lack of experience, the drill works absolutely perfectly, in spite of me. Operating this is actually very simple. As you can see, the drill is already attached to the metal as the magnet is engaged. Now, just power the drill on and feed the core bit in. At this point, I'm still applying oil manually because, like I said, I wasn't smart enough to figure out the integrated cooling system. I should have just read the manual because it was on page 2. But anyway. That said, the built-in system only works for horizontal drilling anyway. If you're drilling vertically, you'll still need to apply coolant manually. The magnetic base on this drill is actually stronger than I expected. That said, you can still get it to release the metal it's holding onto. It takes some effort, but it just shows the magnet isn't infinitely powerful. Honestly, if you're paying attention while using it, this shouldn't happen. To prevent it, just don't force the core drill bit too hard into the material and give the magnet a rest from time to time. Make sure it doesn't get hot to the touch, and you should be good. I never had any issues during my 3 hours of filming, but I did make sure to switch the magnet off between drilling drops. Ok, now let's make it work a bit harder, shall we? I've got a 10mm steel plate on one side and a 15mm plate on the other. And I'm using the largest core drill bit, the 27mm one. Starting with the 10mm side, and it feels well, totally fine actually. The drill doesn't struggle at all, it just needs time to get through the metal. And I think you'll agree that under these conditions, that's a pretty fair thing to ask for. So, in the end, the 10mm steel plate wasn't a problem at all. Now, let's move on to the 15mm plate. Which, by the way, is just three of the original 5mm plates welded together. At this stage, it took around a minute to drill through the 15mm part, but I'm pretty sure it could go faster if time was a critical factor. That said, if you're looking for speed above all else, you'd have to spend a lot more than $300. Let's be fair here. I honestly wasn't expecting a magnetic drill that comes with all these core bits to perform this well at this price point. Sure, there are higher end options out there that drill faster and smoother, but they also cost significantly more. In the end, this drill did exactly what it was supposed to do. It managed to get through 15mm of steel without a problem. And for those of you wondering whether the magnet is strong enough for vertical drilling, I can absolutely confirm that it is. But no, I'm not about to go drilling through someone's steel beam just for your entertainment. So you can absolutely forget about this. So far, the main drawbacks are that it can't be used for tapping. The integrated cooling system doesn't work in a vertical position, and the power plug was a bit bent when the thing arrived. But again, keep in mind how much this costs and what you get for that price. As for the plug, I bent it back into shape rather easily. So, from a DIY perspective, if you need a magnetic drill purely for drilling into metal, this would absolutely be on my list. The included core drill bits alone probably justify the price, and there is also a chuck that lets you use other drill bits too. And once you spend 2 minutes with the instruction manual, the integrated cooling system works perfectly well. That said, if I was spending my own money, I would pay a bit more for the version with the speed control. But otherwise, I have to say, I am sorry I doubted you Vivo, this is actually a good product. I hope you enjoyed the content, and if you did, feel free to give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, and drop a comment. I'd love to know what you think. And if you're up for more, maybe check out one of these other videos too.